Hi, this is Nell Tharp, and I'm going to do a little demonstration about how to use a Keith needle. Keith needle is a straight needle. Uh, it's often used with the fingers. It can also be used with an instrument. I will say that I haven't learned how to use it with an instrument, um, although I suppose I could. So I'm going to just stretch the tissue with my ads and forcep to allow me to pass the needle cleanly through the thin white line of dermis. And I'm going to avert the tissue so that I have a nice straight line. And that's really the big benefit of the Keith needle. As I make each stitch, I'm going to be going a little further out each time, taking care not to go through the skin. Um, if the suture goes through the skin, then uh, you're more likely to have a um, granuloma formation. We want to make sure that we ease the curve because most C-section incisions are curvilinear. Um, we have to be careful that we uh, ease it so that they will pull together nicely without a large um, area on one side versus the other. The, uh, once the upper end tends to be undercut. Um, and we tend to have to take smaller bites there and longer bites on the lower end. And this is one of the places where the Keith needle really comes in handy. So we'll see how that's pulling together. Looks like I need to go a little bit shallower here to ease it. And I'll take a small bite there. So as you're stitching, you go ahead and look. Some surgeons will put uh, hash marks on the skin so that you can line them up as you sew. Um, I've not worked with a surgeon who does that, so I've learned to do it by eye. Um, and the skin is fairly malleable as long as you're careful. So again, each, each couple of stitches you're going to take a peek. Again, I'm going to take a little stitch about maybe a quarter of an inch long on the upper side, and then Going in on the lower side, I'm going to take a stitch pretty much directly across from where I came out of the upper side and then make that one be about a half an inch long. And I'm using um, a proline stitch primarily because it is um, easier to see than the vicryl. So I figured for the purposes of the video, you want to be able to see the suture material. Because I'm using a non-absorbable suture, I have opted to do an instrument tie on the outside of the skin. And I did that before we started, uh, so the video wouldn't take quite as long. There we go. And you can see how that's pulling together nicely, but I still need to focus on easing. So one of the things that you do when you're using the Keith needle is that you take a larger stitch uh, in the center of the wound and smaller stitches as you get closer to the corners. And that helps you to um, ease the tissues and make sure that you don't get what's called a dog ear. Um, and that would be a pucker that occurs right in the corner. So you can see that now I've done the easing and this is coming together quite nicely here. So as I um, evert, I tend to put my uh, ring finger behind the tissue to support it, um, but not on the uh, upper side. It's much easier to suture toward yourself, um, although there are people who prefer to do this technique away from themselves. Uh, there's not a right or wrong, it's whichever one you're able to do uh, most reliably uh, and efficiently. I find that it's uh, less work on the back and neck when you come towards yourself because you're able to see because the wound is open. Oops, excuse me. Getting close to this edge and bump the camera. My apologies for that. So now we've gotten to this edge. I'm going to take one last little bite over here to secure and then I'm going to bring my stitch out onto the skin surface here and I'm going to give a little tug and that will help uh, tighten this and then 
Uh, I was going to tie an instrument tie, but I'm not seeing uh, my needle holder, so apparently I have moved it. Um, but an instrument tie here on the skin will leave a little bunny ear. You can see as I do the instrument tie, I'm taking care to bring my long end toward me on one throw and away on the next, and pull that snug. And then I'll give a quick demo of cutting with my non-dominant hand. I'm holding the scissors like this. And I'm just gonna give a little snip. There we go. So there is how to use Keith needle. Keith needle, again, a long straight needle. Thank you.